Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now, today we're talking about Haloperidol. We're going to cover what it is, how it works, side effects, my experience. So yeah, let's roll the video. Haloperidol is a first generation antipsychotic, basically meaning it's old as fuck. So why am I on such a high dose of haloperidol? I take 10 milligrams of haloperidol in the evening and basically I, all the side effects that I used to have in the morning when I took it in the morning, now I have when I'm asleep. So is haloperidol sedating? Yes. 10 milligrams is a fairly high dose. You can go up to 20 milligrams, but that's only in rare cases of schizophrenia. I'm on 10 milligrams and I have been for the last three years. And basically how I got put on that dose was I was inpatient. As a lot of you know, I was inpatient in the Priory for a year. And that consultant, rather than trying different medications, said let's try and increase the dose of haloperidol. So we did. And when I first got put on to 10 milligrams, it made me drool. So I was put onto quills. As time's gone on, that stopped happening. So I don't take quills anymore. It's it's it's, it's just getting used to the medication in your body. But yeah, my psych team when I was inpatient agreed with me to try and increase the dose. We did, and we found that ten milligrams was enough. I did try fifteen milligrams to help my psychotic symptoms but it was too much of a dose to give me and it made me quite ill so I went back down to 10 milligrams. 10 milligrams has been my holy grail. So how has it worked for me over the years? Has it effectivity changed? Well honestly no it hasn't really changed. I've been pretty stable on 10 milligrams of haloperidol but in short it, it reduces doesn't get rid of, reduces the amount of psychotic symptoms that I experience. When I was put on haloperidol, I, the diagnosis of schizoaffective disorder wasn't really on the table. But it's basically, for me, it's reduced my hallucinations, it's reduced my mania. And honestly, it's been a pretty brilliant drug to be on. I know people post videos when they have a medication experience, but honestly, there aren't many positive videos about haloperidol on YouTube. It's very stigmatised that it's a dangerous drug, that first generation antipsychotics shouldn't be used. Now, I went on to haloperidol after quetiapine. I wanted to come off quetiapine because of the weight gain, which leads me into my next question is that is, does it cause weight gain? Honestly, I can say this hand on, hand on my heart that it genuinely doesn't cause weight gain. I've lost a lot of weight on haloperidol and I'm glad. I used to be a size 16, now I'm a size 12 or a 10. I do want to get down to a size 8, but so what are the side effects? Now I'm going to read from the NHS website. So side effects of haloperidol, common side effects, feeling dizzy or low blood pressure, constipation, dry mouth, blurred vision, feeling sleepy or drowsy or sleeping problems. Serious side effects affect 1 in 10,000 people, severe constipation sometimes with severe stomach pain. Muscle stiffness or shaking. Problems with your movements such as feeling restless, problems controlling movements of your arms and legs. Uncontrolled movements of your face and tongue. I have this chewing thing going on where when I'm not talking it looks like I'm chewing. And really all I'm chewing is the sides of my gums, which isn't good, but I, it's, it could be worse. But yeah, those are the side effects of haloperidol. Has it been a positive experience? So obviously every medication comes with side effects. Every medication works differently for different people. No one has the same experience of haloperidol or any other drug for that matter. But overall for me, it's been a very positive experience. I've made multiple videos on haloperidol. I did my first video two months after I started taking it, which I was on 0 0.5 milligrams and I'm on 10 milligrams so it has gone up quite a lot but that is due to being in a different trust of the NHS so I got treated differently and I genuinely believe that the treatment team I had had my best interests at heart 
I managed to get me on medication that actually gave me a chance. And the last question I've got is, would you recommend it? Honestly, my experience of being on haloperidol compared to other antipsychotics that I've been on has been amazing. This drug has genuinely changed my life. Yes, I still experience hallucinations, but they're not as bad as they used to be. So that's a huge deal. It hasn't got rid of them at all, but I don't hear voices now. I don't get I don't get paranoid anymore. I don't hallucinate as much, though my hallucinations have been pretty bad recently. But I think that's just because of stress. All in all, haloperidol has been a life saver of a medication and honestly I would recommend it to anybody. I believe that it is a life saving medication. I mean, it took me out of the depths of my, my worst depression where all I could think about all day was suicide and self-harm it stopped that and yes lithium played a part in that as well but focusing on the haloperidol I've been on longer than I have lithium the haloperidol really did get me out of the state of depression that I was in and yeah I just think it's a good drug you know, no one's having parties on haloperidol, but it keeps me stable. And stability is what we should all be looking for in this. Medication is a tool to get us to where we need to be. It doesn't fix things. Only we can put in the effort to get above what people expect. And if you're currently in a state where you're in hospital or you need to be in hospital or you're under the crisis team, take it from someone who knows. It does get better. And whether you need medication or therapy or both, there's always room for you to keep fighting. And that's why I'm going to leave this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.